In the Dominican Republic, people who live on the sugarcane plantations have traditionally faced hardship and exclusion. But a new holistic approach to supporting them is opening up fresh possibilities. Here's our story. Mi nombre es Stephanie Félix Pérez y tengo 24 años. Soy de ascendencia haitiana, pero mi mamá nació aquí y mi papá también. Y en Batay 7. Mi nombre es Alicia Isa. Na, eh, tengo eh, 39 años de edad y soy dominicana. Nací aquí en el Baste y las Pajas y siempre he vivido aquí. This is a story of people like Alicia and Estefany, who were born into a life on the Batays. The Batays in the Dominican Republic are where people of largely Haitian descent live. They are home to some of the poorest people in the country. En nivel bastello no hay oportunidades ni para mí ni para otra persona que hay con deseo de trabajar, con deseo de triunfar. Nosotros somos en total, somos siete hermanos, somos un total de eh, nueve, diez, diez personas dormimos en la casa. Papá picaba caña, él, él picaba caña, duró 21 años picando caña. The Dominican sugarcane plantations have drawn workers from across the Haitian border since the early 20th century. A cutter's work was and still is tough. Labor laws are often flouted and wages are minimal. The cutters and their families traditionally live in the communities called Batés. There are an estimated 425 Batés in the country, housing some 200,000 people. Usually situated deep in the cane fields, largely cut off from services enjoyed by other citizens, the Batays can be miserable places. My infancia fue una infancia difícil, porque mi papá picaba las cañas, que tenía que ayudarlo a levantar las cañas. Fue un momento tan difícil que me impactó, porque quería ser, quería ser profesional, quería llegar más lejos, pero no podía porque tenía que trabajar. El ingreso es muy pírrico, eh, que está por debajo de los indicadores eh, básicos para una zona para vivir dignamente. En el caso de los batelles, viven situaciones bastante difíciles, bastante eh, vulnerables, deprimidas, que sobreviven. Beneco Anesia, himself the son of a sugarcane worker and born in a bate, now runs a non-governmental organization called Sedeso, which works with bate residents. Now, with the help of his organization and several others, changes are starting to take place. La idea de los químicos es una idea de toda la que estamos, pero como con un fondo porque no lo tenemos. Ninguna tenemos un fondo para empezar los químicos. Alicia and a group of other women who were all struggling to make ends meet sought the help of another local organization, a scala which gave them the chemicals to get started and some training in how to use them. Entonces de ahí envasar esos galones, que luego hicimos distribuirnos en cada sector para vender el jabón. 
they started earning some money to contribute to their basic household needs, like having enough food to eat. For Alicia, providing for her five children and elderly parents is a daily challenge. Hay segmento de, 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 del batey que no tienen nada para comer, que, que realmente se levantan en la mañana y se acuestan con hambre. And with the collapse of the Dominican sugar industry due to decreased global demand, combined with more mechanization of the plantations, jobs for the cane cutters are getting ever harder to find. And there's another threat to the Batay residents' daily lives that Beneco says is a great challenge to their security as human beings. Pero para mí el, el tema más importante es la parte de seguridad política. En el sentido de que los que son eh, nacidos aquí, que puedan tener un estatus eh, normal. Que le garanticen los derechos fundamentales que tiene la población que está siendo vulnerable. Mucha, mucho temor en la población, no hay garantía de sus derechos. It's a problem Stephanie, who considered herself a Dominican citizen, came face to face with. At 18, she received the shock of her life, a routine request for a copy of her birth certificate. Her legitimate right as the daughter of Dominican parents was turned down. Se me frisó la vida ese día. Yo tenía mi deseo de estudiar educación, eh, ser maestra. La vida sin, act, sin un acta de nacimiento es difícil porque no puedo ingresar a la universidad, no puedo seguir mis estudios, eh, no puedo transitar libremente como todo ciudadano de cualquier país lo haga. Stephanie found herself denied the basic rights enjoyed by others. Me sentía impotente. Realmente yo me sentí, wow, decía, ay Dios mío, yo, yo lloré, lloré bastante. Si no se resuelve el tema de la seguridad política, la persona, por más comida, por más trabajo, por más ingreso que pueda tener, en cualquier momento, el nivel de vulnerabilidad que está, en cualquier momento se fuma esa parte. Dealing with this array of threats requires a new approach focused on helping all people feel more secure in their lives. The Dominican government has teamed up with local organizations as well as the United Nations, including UNICEF, the UN Development Programme and the UN Refugee Agency. It's an holistic and integral where they consider the needs not as one solo, but as multiple. Raquel Cazares is the coordinator of this project funded by the United Nations Trust Fund for Human Security. No, la seguridad humana consiste en garantizar a la gente las necesidades básicas, o sea, por ejemplo, la alimentación, eh, tener acceso a un trabajo, a educación, eh, vivir libre de, de cualquier violación a sus derechos humanos. Hay mucha gente en los batallas que quiere hacer cosas de mucho potencial. Estamos apoyando a que haya un mayor vínculo entre el batey y, por ejemplo, salud pública, la educación pública y otros servicios a los que cualquier ciudadano tiene derechos. And one is the right to enough food. As Stephanie's mother, like other Batay residents, has received both funding and training from the project to grow vegetables. Le dieron la semilla que era ají, ají berenjena y otra semillita más que le dieron. Por ese vuelto. Nadie puede entrar en ese vuelto a coger algo sin pedírselo a la doña. A threat to many Batay residents is that of natural disasters like flash floods. Estefany is involved in a simulated emergency. And then there's the right to health care. Batay residents receive training in some basic services like HIV and pregnancy prevention and postnatal health checks. More than a third of teenage girls from the Batays get pregnant. 
As Stephanie's younger sister keeps records of baby's weight. Involving locals in the project is key, says Raquel, as in these extracurricular literacy classes taught largely by young Bate residents. These after-school classes help Bate children catch up with their education and reduce the dropout rate. Adolescents who never had the opportunity to go to school learn to read and write. High illiteracy rates in the Bates, more than three times the national average, have prevented residents from finding well-paid jobs and feeling secure economically. The government, another partner in the project, is trying to break this vicious cycle through the provision of literacy classes for all. Pedro Castellanos, former Director General of the President's Office of Special Programs, says that these classes are open to everyone. Una proporción generosa de nuestros beneficiarios son personas haitianos descendientes o migrantes, migrantes que están en el país. No, no se discrimina. Desde nosotros eh, en todos estos planes tenemos particular interés en la población habitante de los Batelles que tradicionalmente ha sido muy excluida. He also emphasizes how crucial it is to eliminate this social exclusion for the benefit of the whole country. Todo eso pasa porque logremos que la economía sea próspera y crezca. Y no podemos tener una economía próspera con gente pobre, con gente excluida. Necesitamos que la gente sea protagonista de ese esfuerzo. Access to education for all, he says, is the key an approach Alicia would agree with. Unable to attend full-time as a child, she took herself back to school as an adult. And now she and her colleagues are investing in their new venture. Que todavía no hay ingreso. Nosotras no estamos cobrando nada, pero sí nos sentimos de que somos útiles en algo que que mañana podemos sacarle. Nos sentimos orgullosas porque somos un grupo de mujeres emprendedoras. And of course, there's the right to enjoy the basic services and rights of any citizen in the country. For four years, Estefanie, with Beneco's help, fought for that right. Then, in 2014, a new law was passed recognizing the citizenship of all children born to a Dominican parent and who already held a Dominican birth certificate. To date, authorities report that 55,000 people have registered for their citizenship documents. And for Estefany, the outcome was good. Uy, mi madre, me sentí feliz. Y mira, eso fue una emoción que por poco me chocó un carro. Pero la emoción de que yo encontré mi cédula Y que ya yo dije, bueno, ya yo voy, me voy a inscribir en la universidad. Ahora puedo ir, transitar libremente. Ya siento que, que va por un rumbo que quería. All these steps help people live more secure lives and start to build their own futures. Estefanie now plans to study law. She hopes to set up her practice in the Bate to help her community fight for their right to live as equal citizens in their own country.